The Alaska Native Heritage Center says every Alaska Native person alive today has been affected by boarding schools. The center is now working to determine the extent of the damage caused by the schools here in Alaska. Eric Soll introduces us to the Heritage Center's lead researcher who's working to bring healing to this dark chapter of Alaska's history. You don't know what you need healing from until you peel back the Band-Aid and actually see the wound. Ben Jasek is part detective. The 1895 report on education, we counted 41 schools. Part historian. And at the very bottom in this area, recognizing how, the, how these structures that were created in the boarding schools still affect Alaska Natives today. And he's looking for healing. This is very much healing work, and we're doing this in partnership with many organizations across the country. The Alaska Native Heritage Center in Anchorage is not waiting to hear what happened in Native boarding schools. They're going looking for answers. Boarding school history has not been taught in Alaska. Uh, even though every Alaska Native person that is al alive today, we've either, we have either been directly impacted or indirectly impacted. Boarding schools were around as recently as 1969, stripping away the culture of indigenous students. While also creating the narrative in society that native peoples are not truly people, uh, that dehumanization aspect, that just doesn't go away because you close down a building. Uh, it's something that still lives and breathes today. Uh, and we see it all over Anchorage. We see it within uh, the houseless population. Researching Alaska's boarding school's history hasn't been done before. While the lower 48 has had that, Alaska really hasn't. You see a lot of militarization of boarding schools uh, happening here in Alaska before places like Carlisle. Information has to be collected and verified from many sources. Shelton Jackson edited and put together this newsletter. Jasek has spent about two years so far researching boarding schools for the Heritage Center. We're doing a lot of incredible things and really leading with a strength-based approach, a healing approach to this work is what we're really proud of. The Alaska Native Heritage Center is investing in examining the wound. We still don't know a lot. Just starting to peel back the bandage. We have a, fu a fundamental right to have access and to know our own history. Searching for healing. Eric Soule, Alaska's News Source.